tutorial. I am going to be doing a celebrity inspired makeup tutorial. I was highly inspired by um, Rita Ora. She wore this makeup with this fierce like light blue, kind of turquoise blue color on her eyelids um, to the Cannes Film Festival this year and she looked absolutely incredible. She was wearing like a Versace suit as well and I was just like, girl you are on point. So I was just like, I want to do that makeup look, so here it is, my Rita Ora Can Festival inspired makeup tutorial. I hope you'll enjoy it. So the first step is obviously to prime my face and I'm using my L'Oreal Lumi Magic Primer because I feel like the Rita Ora skin was really glowy and really radiant and I want that as well and this one is really a glowy primer. For foundation, I'm using my current obsession, which is my Mega Forever HD foundation in the color 117 Marble. It is the perfect foundation. I love it for all purposes. It's just my favorite. And it gives kind of like this satin finish on the skin, which looks actually kind of natural, but still gives like a full coverage. I love it. Then I'm moving on with my MAC Conceal and Correct palette. This is in the color Light. And this is great because you can both use it on pimples and redness, but also around the eyes if you've got dark circles to cover. So it's just the perfect all-in-one palette. And I'm just using my beloved Beauty Blender to blend in the concealer. A part of you is a part of me. Because Rita Ora has got some really dark brows, even though she's totally blonde, I am going to use my defining brow gel from Gush just to brush through my brows and get them in the same direction and also to give them some instant color. Like, oh my god, she's rugging it out. Girl, you've got it going on, but actually I'm just listening to Tarzan. <laughs> The next step is obviously to prime my eyes because I want the eyeshadow that's going on top to be as pigmented as possible so I'm using my paint pot in the color Soft Ochre from MAC. While my paint pot is setting on my eyelids, I'm using my MAC Brow Dew Palette in the color Brunette because I need some really dark brows and I'm having a party. <laughs> um, but I'm just doing my brows as usual. I'm just doing them a bit darker because Rita Ora's brows are that dark. Of my brows I'm using the L'Oreal Brow Plumper in the color medium dark because I need those dark brows girls so that is what I'm doing Shadows. And this step may seem weird to you guys, but trust me, it works. I'm using Max Blue Line in the color Blue Peep, which was a limited edition, um, actually an eyeliner, kind of like a gel eyeliner. But I'm using it as an eyeshadow, and as you can see, it is so freaking pigmented and so beautiful. I just couldn't help myself, and it's like the perfect color to achieve the Rita Ora light blue color. <laughs> Bobbi Brown Sheer Bright Eyeshadow in the color Sea Glass, which is a bit more turquoise -y. And as you can see, when you put it on top, it just pops. Like, the color seriously pops. It looks so amazing. I love it so much. And I'm just using my finger to apply it. And 
just to make sure that the color on top blends perfectly in with the fluid line, I'm just blending the edges. And I'm just doing some precision work, as you can see, really, really, really important with this look. And to define my lower lash line, I'm using my MAC eyeshadow in the color Omega and I'm just using it just to define my eyes a tiny bit because the blue color can seem a bit harsh if you don't use something a bit dark on the lower lash line. And for a teeny tiny bit of highlight, I'm using my Naked Basics palette and I'm using the color Venus. I'm just using it under my brows just to, as I said, highlight a teeny tiny bit. Not too much, but just to lift the entire look. The boring step, but very important step, just curling my lashes. You know I need to do that. And then I'm using my Ico Skinny Brush Mascara, which I am obsessed with at the moment. I just fall in love with it all over again. It's just so great and it just lengthens the lashes so perfectly. And for my lower lashes, the one and only MAC Extended Play Giga Black Lash Mascara. Kind of like highlight and conceal my face. I'm using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer in the color Ivory, using it under my eyes, on the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, chin, and wherever I need to highlight. And I look like a crazy person. Oh yeah. <laughs> and I'm using my Beauty Blender once again to blend it in. <laughs> To set the concealer, I'm using the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in the color Translucent. It's my favorite setting powder. And I'm using my Beauty Blender once again to set the powder and the concealer, obviously. And it's just perfect. To bronze and contour and highlight, I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Palette. And I'm just contouring, kind of contouring and bronzing with the um, contour shade and then afterwards I'm going to highlight with the other color. And to make my nose look a bit more pointy and small, I'm just contouring my nose as you can see. The last step is obviously the lips. I'm using my Bobbi Brown lip liner in the color Pale Pink, which is such a great, gorgeous, everyday nude pinky shade for the lips. And I'm just filling in my lips completely with this one. And afterwards, I'm going to use my MAC lipstick in the color Hue on top. subscribe to my channel and follow me on my Instagram. That means the absolute world to me. Thank you so, so much for watching and I love you all so much. 